Uh, say you would like to uh, copy an image like this, for instance, and you're just really stumped and you're having a hard time mixing up this orange color right here. And you, you know, you're mixing it up and you're just getting the wrong color. It's, it's too yellow, it's uh, too red or something like that. And uh, you need a way to, to really compare and see um, what's on your palette uh, compared to what you're copying from. Well, a technique that I learned a long time ago in school, um, they're called peepers. And uh, basically, it's very simple. You can make this at home. And uh, I like to take just uh, business cards. And you want two of them. And you can take them and get a black uh, permanent magic marker. And all you got to do is just color one side all black. And it doesn't have to be anything special the way you color it. And do the same thing to the other card. You can also paint them black too with like something like acrylic paint for a more uniform look and if you want it darker this marker um, is kind of leaving a little bit of streaks here because I think it's isn't, this isn't as full of ink as it used to be Okay, and then just take a paper punch and go in um, as far as you can go, like say from the top. And do that on both of them. Okay, now you have um, what I call your peepers. What you can do then is you can put one of them over the orange color or whatever color in the painting or, or the picture that you're copying from that, you, um, that you're trying to match on your palette. And when you're mixing your colors on your palette, then you put this one, you can hold it, you don't put it down in the paint obviously, but you can hold it uh, just a little bit up over the color that you are trying to mix. And by um, having this black around there and looking only through this small hole, you can get a much better judgment of what you need to do with this color to bring it closer to what you are trying to achieve here. Um, when you're looking only through a small hole and not the whole thing, you can see um, more if, if the color is uh, just a little bit uh, too much, um, you know, say red or yellow or too blue or, you know, whatever. If it's too dark, you can also see if it's too dark or if it's too light. You can tell if it's too bright, if it's too dull, if you need to brighten it up a bit. And um, it's just a little, little bit of a viewing hole here that isolates the area that you're trying to work on. And, um, and then you can, like I said, put it over your pile of paint here and get a very good comparison that way. And you can also use these um, if you are standing at an easel painting and you have your card upright, uh, maybe taped onto the top of your easel. You can also step back from your easel, hold one of these up um, over your card, over the air area, and just look through only to that area that you're trying to match. And at the same time, hold this um, other one over your painting in that area to see if that color, if the colors are matching up correctly. So um, this is a very good technique for um, using uh, color matching and, um, and also values and lightness and darkness.